One thing I, I remind myself of is that if we've been around for like 300,000 years, say, there have been about 120 billion humans, most of those humans never lived to be 20. It's possible that most of those humans never lived to be 10 because child mortality was so high and then adolescent mortality was fairly high. So like dying between the age of five and 15 was, was you know, reasonably common, but, but child mortality was incredibly high, like, you know, 40, maybe even 50%. And in that sense, we're doing pretty good. You know, like we've, we've decreased child, child mortality by 60% just in the last 30 years. That's pretty impressive. Right. And that's pretty good. It is. And I see So I see some reasons for hope there, you know, like right. I think it's easy to get focused on our problems and we should be focused on them. They're terrifying. But I do also see reasons for hope. I see that we can just as a, what comes part of what comes with this power is a really interesting ability to solve problems together, to collaborate yes. across space and time and. Um, more efficiently than we've ever been able to before, m way more efficiently than people could 500 years ago or 600 years ago when we didn't even know that we were one world necessarily. I see some cause for hope there, but it could go either way, Callie. I'm not going to lie to you. I, 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 <laughs> there are days when I think we're not going to make it through this and uh, there's going to be nobody to name the Anthropocene. Surviving Deep Time is available now at youtube.com eons and wherever you get your podcasts.